Good morning. I am in Manhasset. It is Friday. I just did a tune-up on a HTP condensing boiler. Uh, just made sure everything looked good. Didn't go too in-depth. Uh, I checked all the air handlers because they all have hydronic coils off the boiler and all the air handlers were good. Now what I'm doing here is disconnecting the line sets off of a Mitsubishi Mini Split because the customer wants to have work done and move those line sets around. So I'll be recovering it and disconnecting it. And I have Peter with me. And I'm gonna show Peter how to do it. So we're recovering down the 410A from this Mitsubishi Mini Split. And now I'm quizzing Peter on what he knows. What are these? Manifold gauges. Why don't you point the camera at them? Manifold gauges. What are these? What, what is this? this? Recovery machine. And what is this? That's a hose. And what is this? A recovery tank. And what is this? It's an umbrella. What is this? A uh, condenser. What is this? Also a condenser. What brand is this? A Mitsubishi? Uh, no, it's a train. What brand is this? That's a Mitsubishi. It's a what mini sport. What am I recovering? Uh, for the AC. What, what name refrigerant is it? I just said it when we started this video. 410A. 410A, okay. Uh, what is this? That's an impact on What is this? The cool bag. What is this right here? Um, that has your kill switch in it. What's the real name of it? A disconnect. Disconnect, okay. How much voltage is going into there? 240. Okay. Good. What's this right here? It's an extension cord. And the huge question you're not going to know, that black thing on the skinny copper, what is that? It's called a liquid, liquid line filter dryer. Okay. Okay, you can stop. It's pouring rain, I didn't get to record much, uh, but I had the Trade Fox umbrella to keep everything dry. Refrigerant. And all I did was I disconnected the lines and I crimped them so moisture and dirt doesn't get inside. I also taped it up and put a bag over it as well as disconnected the electrical. The disconnect is in the off position so it's not live. Uh, all they're going to be doing is moving this line set around to do work on a window that the line set sits in front of. You can see it's raining pretty hard. There's Peter. We're just packing everything up, just getting it into the truck. I'll organize it all later. We're just trying to get out of the rain. We finished up there. We're on our way now to a job that Mike was at and Mike recorded with a Navy and that was turning on for a split second whenever the toilet was flushed. Uh, the other Mike is there figuring it out, fixing it. Uh, I'm coming along, bringing Peter just to see it. So my next call is in for a couple more hours. And hopefully Peter learned Useful information today. What did you learn? Uh, I learned a lot about refrigerant. No, what did you learn? Not how much did you learn? I learned how to pump it out, um, how careful to be. What is pumping it out called? Uh, well, you use the uh, recovery machine. So what are we doing? You got the recovery machine. And did what with it? You attach the hoses to it. Yes, but what was the end goal of using the machine? What did we... To pump out the... Uh, but what's the word I'm looking for? The exact word. What, what did we do with the pump? What is the technical term for how we took that refrigerant out? We pumped it out. We recovered it. We recovered it. Yeah, okay. that's the word. Recovered it. Um, what about what refrigerant did we use? Four ten. And. What were the wires that I was disconnecting? Communication. And what are the pipes that I disconnected called? No, the twin lines? Yeah, what are they called? Um, They're close with lines. I know. Set, set? Set lines. Line set. Line set. So, Peter learned. Hopefully Mikey Pipe sees this and sees that he learned something. Um, and then my next call after I stop by and see what Mike's doing is going to be a, just another heating tune-up. 
up and an estimate on a water heater replacement. So hopefully you enjoy. Thanks for watching. So it is 6.30 p.m. Um, I didn't have to work this late, but Mike had uh, a customer who he had worked with, I think, at another company. His customers had an issue on our boiler for a long time, and we couldn't replicate that issue, but we did find the gas pressure was only 0.27 inches of water column. Now, Peter, what is that gas pressure supposed to be? Uh, 3.5. So, we brought it up to 3.5, and... After we did that, we cycled it so many times and we could not replicate that issue. Uh, the issue was it booming on startup, uh, but only sometimes. So I cleaned, well, Peter cleaned out the burner tubes, brushed them off, tapped them out. I vacuumed out the combustion chamber, checked everything else on the boiler and everything seemed to be in decent condition. Um, but I think Peter learned a lot today. I also learned a lot today. We had a steam call with a lot of issues that I had to call backup in for. I called the other Mike uh, and he helped me out. We had to replace a steam main air vent in the wall. We had to break open the wall. We had to try to pitch a uh, main steam line, which we just barely got pitched right. And this guy's heat hasn't been working for so long and now it's finally working the way it should. We had to replace the gas valve. We had to replace quite a bit, a radiator valve. Um, but yeah, if, uh, if Mike wasn't there, I wouldn't have figured it out. But now that I was there, I'm prepared for the next one. It's dark, you can't even see me. Uh, so what are some things you learned today, Peter? Uh, I learned a lot. What is that part that I was reading the gas pressure on? that we replaced on that steam boiler. You know, where I was taking my pressure readings, what part was that? Where I got the 0.27 inches of water column? The gas valve? Yes, gas valve. Uh, what kind of boiler was that? Hydronic. How many zones did it have? Two. How do you know that? Uh, because, well, she had two thermostats and she said that there were two zones. So How else do you know that from looking at it? With, with two zones, you're going to have pipes that go in two different directions. Okay, but can, you just I just gave you the reasons for how you know there's two zones. I, not always, but there were two of what? Circulators. Circulators, yes. What are the circulators controlled by? What's that big green box? It's the relay. More specific name. Zone relay. Yeah. Now, what does the aquastat do? It makes sure that the water in the boiler doesn't get to a certain, does basically doesn't boil. It regulates the temperature of the water. And what else can I ask you? There's a bunch of animals, right? ATVs, just driving on the main road, no license plates, but whatever. New York.